Hey there, Nick Jutakis here. In this video, we're going to go over how to get the duration of a video in seconds using FFmpeg. Well, technically we're going to be using FFprobe, but that comes installed by default when you install FFmpeg. Now, a couple of months ago, I did make a video on how to get the duration of an audio file in seconds using FFmpeg, grep, and a couple other command line tools, but I didn't realize that FFprobe actually existed, so this video is going to be an improvement on that one. Also, as a side topic to this video, we're going to go over how to round values on the command line as well. So, check it out. I'm going to run a couple commands here, and we're going to break them down. And by the way, if you want to follow along, you will need to install FFmpeg. You can apt install that or brew install it. I'm sure you can find it in whatever package manager your operating system has here. And you can see this is giving us back the duration in seconds. We're getting slightly different values here because we're passing in slightly different flags here. And I'm running this against uh, a video file that I already had. Now, funny enough, I have a related video on FFmpeg on how to make clips out of a video where you can basically just put in the start and end times that you want in like the hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second format. And uh, it will produce a result there. I'll leave a card if you want to check that one out. But it felt fitting to use that video as a reference here for this one on getting the duration in seconds. We're also going to go over how to get the duration in the hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second uh, functionality as well here. But yeah, so that is basically how this works here. And we're not going to go over the gory details of every single little flag here. But notice that most of these flags are the same. You can see of, and we have default, no print wrappers, no key one on both of them. We also have the error, which we are going to go over because that one's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, basically it comes down to these middle flags here, what the differences are. So the first one is the container format. It's getting the duration in seconds based off of that. And the other one is getting it off the stream of the video itself. But yeah, they do produce slightly different uh, outputs here. But you know, for me, the real world use case was I had over 200 videos sitting on disk and I am building my own course platform. And I wanted to seed my local database with the duration of each video in seconds. So what I ended up doing was, yeah, I just ran this command here, well, technically through code. And uh, as long as I ran these up, then they both ended up producing the same result over, you know, 207 videos. So I'm pretty confident that as long as you round this up to the nearest second, then you should very likely get the same result. And I do notice too that if you ran, you know, either of these commands here with time, uh, we can see maybe, you know, which one is faster. And they both actually produce these same results. You know, there's a little bit of variance here if you run this, uh, you know, 100 times. But, you know, in my case here for this little short video, um, it takes about 100 milliseconds to run either one of these commands here. So uh, as for which one you may want to use, I don't know, I kind of rolled with the format duration one just because it's a little bit shorter of a command here. And um, as for the gory low level details of what the differences are, I mean, I couldn't really say other than this one's probably getting the duration of like the MP4 as like a container format. And this one is the stream of the video itself. So maybe this one's a little bit more low level. I don't know uh, if someone's an expert with FFmpeg, then uh, feel free to check that out. But you know, there is one flag that is kind of interesting here. And this is the V flag here, which is the log level. So if you don't run it with the flag, then you will actually get a lot more information about the video. So if you just wanted to see more information other than duration in seconds, then you can check that out like that. And uh, actually, I do have this open in a different tab here. But if you go to the documentation for FF Probe, then yeah, this is the log level that we can set with dash V. And uh, right now, you know, we set it with error. But if you don't do anything, then it's going to be the default value, which is info. You know, you can even go down as far as using debug or something like that if you just wanted to go uh, and see a little bit more information about the video being processed here. But yeah, in this case, we're really going to be focusing on just using error because that's going to just only produce errors here, but we can see the output that we want. But now, yeah, let's say that we want to round this up to the nearest second. And by the way, we will go over a second way of running this command here, which will allow us to get the hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second in a second here. But um, uh, actually, yeah, let's just do that one first before we go to rounding, just because, you know, why not? So this flag will work the same for either way. You know, this I'm doing that in the stream format. But if you do the container format, you can do the same exact flag here. You are getting hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second, and then microsecond. So this video is actually 7 minutes, 33 seconds. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's focus a little bit more on the rounding because that's a little bit more interesting. And if you want the duration in seconds, then you probably want to round it up. So there's, you know, multiple ways you can do this one, right? But if you're on the command line here, you can actually just pipe this into two printf and then printf can do some formatting here to round it up to the nearest second here whoops i forgot the quote there at the end to close things off but yeah we can see here this is 453.9 got rounded up to 454 and uh, if we take the other command which is the uh, duration for the stream we can do this as well and then just run uh, with xargs as well Yep, let me just copy that, and then we can run this again. And we can see that we get 454, so things are rounded up. Now, let's just 
let's just say for whatever reason, maybe you want a little bit more precision for your use case, maybe it's a little bit different than mine, and you want to round this up to a certain amount of decimal points. So, you know, you can just, you know, modify that zero to be a one, two, three, however much precision that you want there, and then, um, yeah, you're good to go. So I'm going to roll with zero here just because I want it to the nearest second. Now, I will say this, and this is actually super interesting. If you have your system's locale set to something, uh, like German, for example, then you may end up with some edge cases here when it comes to the rounding aspect here. And uh, I'll link to this one. But yes, this is a good little write-up on how you can um, you know, hurt yourself in funny little subtle edge case ways, right? Put this really great example here where it's like, you know, on your machine, it's totally working fine. But you've got these two customers in Germany. And when you try to run this command, you know, you get a very unexpected result here because you would expect that to be rounded up not using a comma. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you're just running with uh, English locale, things are going to work completely fine. Although there is uh, a nice little more robust solution here as well, where you can reference printf's print binary directly instead of using the built-in that comes with either bash or z shell or whatever shell that you have here. Because if you run a which and printf here, yeah, there is a built-in command version of this one. But uh, yeah, printf actually exists in user bin printf here. But anyways, if you wanted to use a more robust solution, like maybe you're putting this into a script that's going to be open source that could be used by anybody in the world, and you just want to make sure it works, works, and you're not just doing like a little one-off command for yourself, then um, yeah, you can modify these commands here just to be uh, a little bit better. You can see that you're referencing user bin printf directly because it exists there. You know, you're not using the built-in command. So if you're using Z shell or bash, things are going to work the same. Yes, long story short, this is how you can round things up on the command line. And here is how you can go and grab the duration of a video in seconds. So if you like the video, please give a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Also, if you have any questions in the comments, I'll do my best to answer all of them. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.